So, um, for those of you that are on here, so dating a preacher. Um, first of all, let me ask this question. Do you consider, if you ever dated a preacher before, do you consider, did you ever consider yourself his secret or did you consider yourself his business? Like, you know, what, what do you think concerning that? Do you think that as uh, dating a young preacher or whatever, whatever, do you think that when he doesn't post a bunch of pictures of you on social media, that means that he's trying to keep you a secret or is it just his business? Help me somebody. Because I, I mean, I have an, I have my own personal answer for that, being a preacher, being a young preacher. So, you know, I want to know what you guys think concerning that, you know, because we got a lot of women out here that uh, young women out here is just his business. Yeah. OK. Just his business. We got a lot of young women out here that love and flock after after young preachers his business okay they flock out the young preachers and and they get mad when they don't post pictures of them and you know and the world don't know who they are or whatever because i guess some of them want to be in that light the same they want to share the light with that young preacher and it's not the fact that you can share the light with him he really doesn't need me personally he doesn't need you for the light this ain't no award show when you go to church, you show up on his arm, y'all gonna be on a red carpet. It's ministry. So dating a young preacher, me personally, I don't think that it's so much that he's keeping you a secret. I think, I'm thinking for the sake of witness, because a lot of women or young women when they're dating, when they're dating young preachers, they don't think of witness. They don't think about that he his life is not so much of his own. He's he's living for his life is is for his calling. They looking at the fact um, they're looking at the fact of oh people know him. Oh he has a platform. It's not his platform is not a stage. His platform is a witness. And I feel as if when people are, when women are dating young preachers i feel as if they forget the witness part of it they want to be seen on social media they want to be seen in person they want when he gets up they want him to give them accolades and i think a lot of young preachers end up in relationships with these kind of women that want um that want want, want, want attention and some of these women they don't they don't really want the preacher's heart they want his attention they want that light they want to be somebody and a lot of women they become lost a lot of these young girls young women become lost in the preacher's light that they don't know who they are because they're what they've been to for so long been trying to walk in this preacher's light but you're not really walking in his light you're walking in his shadow oh teach Heath, i'm trying you're not walking in the young preacher's light young lady you're walking in his shadow because until y'all get married, it is not wise for a young preacher or until y'all get engaged. It is not wise for a young preacher to put you on forefront. Let me, I'm, I'm be, tra can I be transparent? Yeah, not just young preacher, but any preacher with, with that has a witness that he does not want to uh, tarnish. Again, I, the reason why I say that, because, you know, I've had this discussion many times and and, and the reason why I say that is because um, <laughs> I, I, was, I was dating this young lady and uh, I had to go preach at this revival, you know, and, um, you know, I'm, let me have me a transparent moment. Today is not a day for me to have your deep revelation or nothing. I was dating this young woman uh, when I was younger and uh, I went and I had to go preach somewhere. I get up. <laughs> you learn from mistakes. And I'm glad I wasn't at, on no no big platform or nothing. But you know, or it was recorded because I would have made a fool out of myself. So I get up and I do all this stuff I heard the older preachers would do. And that oh, the honey on my bun and the <laughs> uh, my boo is here, my bae is here. I did all of that before I preached. 
Now, this was years ago. Now, nah, <laughs> I ain't dumb no more. <laughs> so, uh, I'm having a transparent moment, if y'all allow me. I think I'm due to that. So, I did all of that. Oh, my girlfriend is here. Uh, she's going to one day be my wife. <laughs> Oh God, I sold a dream over the pulpit. <laughs> so <laughs> so I'm like, oh my boo, my honey on my bun. Anybody know me? I like honey bun. I did all of that. I preached God move. The very next day, me and her broke up. <laughs> Listen, I ended up having to go back to the church and preach. And the pastor asked me what a girl was and i had to tell her hey man look we broke up so with that being said it's not the fact that the young preacher or whoever preacher when you're dating a preacher young lady and uh young lady when you're dating a preacher it's not that he's keeping you a secret it's that he's protecting his witness your platform is your witness He's, he's, he's protecting his witness. He he doesn't have to put you on, on, on social media. If you're one of those social media heads that, we, like weed heads, like, you, you know, you just really feel like you got to live for social media, don't date a preacher that has a witness, that wants to keep his witness. Because it may seem like he's keeping you a secret. He's not keeping you a secret. He's protecting his witness. He's protecting his witness. He's got to he's got to get folks saved. His life ain't his own until he's engaged to you, until it's very serious of engagement or a marriage. I tell any preacher, don't put no woman up on your page and cause you're trying to prove a point to social media. Oh, I'm preaching. You have no point to prove to social media. Be who God called you to be. What, and I'm not saying that you got a secret a secret lifestyle. I'm just simply saying, y'all share this video because somebody needs to hear this. I'm just simply saying that the preacher's life is not so much of a secret, but it's just his business or her business, vice versa. Is the is listen. What a private life is a blessed life and private don't mean secret and just because he or she the preacher is not putting you up on their social media don't mean that they got alternative lifestyles he's just being smart and protecting his witness i it, watch this and i'm and this is the only revelation that i'm going to give on this live this is the only revelation i hope y'all ready for it because i'm not going to give no more revelation other than just talking to the regular watch caller there are some people there are some people who can only take your 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 divinity, not your humanity. Everybody does not need to see your humanity, but everybody needs your divinity. Preacher, male or female, everybody can't handle your humanity. Everybody you can't go swim to the swimming pool with. Some people don't need to see you. Your family can see you with your shirt on and half of them can't. But the, your, your, the people that you lead can't. Everybody don't need to see you in your bathing suit or your birthday suit, whatever they call it. Some people can't take your humanity. They can't see you in that light. You know, some people can't see you in that light. Some people need to only see you in that hook of Messiah, speaking in tongue, falling out in the flow. That's the only light that some people need to see. Some people just need to see you laying hands on the sick raising the day <laughs> some people need to see you only in that light and so if you're going to be dating in ministry you have to date somebody that has your witness at heart don't date nobody that wants to be seen on social media that want to show all the people that all all your ex-girlfriends that they with you now <laughs> oh, i'm teaching y'all something Y'all already know this, but I'm teaching it again. You know, they trying to show you, show they trying to show you all your exes that they got you now. And like with that kind of attitude, you gonna be an ex. You don't need nobody flocking on you that's only with you for publicity. That's the problem that 
Okay, I ain't gonna talk about that. But anyway, you know, so you have to be very careful with dating and ministry. Whether you're a preacher, minister of music, you have a witness. Everybody don't need to see who you dating. Honestly, on social media nowadays, when you tell people who you dating, they ain't gonna do nothing but go at them. Gonna get a whole bunch of fake profiles. And, and matter of fact, it that bump, bump that bump just church and in, in your just in regular. If you're not even in church, dating one on one. Listen, dating one on one. If you're dating somebody, why would you post pictures all over social media when you're just dating somebody? It's not really serious. Dating ain't really serious. Dating is not really serious until you say, okay, yeah, we're we going to really make this thing happen for real, for real. But I'm not about to prematurely put somebody on my page when I know that people wake up with different feelings every day. I don't care how much a person say that they love you. People can say they love you today and leave you today. Oh, preach Anthony Heath. I am. They just ain't saying nothing. They ain't sharing this video. I hope this is blessing y'all. I promise you. And you got to be, be careful. Some people dating you to get the gossip off of you. Woohoo! Some people just trying to get your get your get what you say, get your information. They trying to see if you gay and they trying to see if you gay. <laughs> <laughs> 